Hi Aries, this video is for you if you're in love with or have a crush on someone and would like to know how they feel about you. I'll do two spreads. In the first spread we'll try to see if they feel the same way about you, then if the feelings are mutual. In the second spread we'll look at the potential between you and this person. Or if their heart is with uh, someone else in the second spread, we'll see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please like, subscribe and share this video to support this channel. Alright Aries, let's see what the person you're in love with or have a crush on thinks about you. We have the Five of uh, Pentacles, clarified by the Four of Cups and the King of Pentacles. We have the Page of Cups, clarified by the Two of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands, clarified by the Sun. And we also have the Moon on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or a uh, Pisces. Um, well, yeah, you're dealing with this King of Pentacles, the card all the way to your left. Uh, it could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. If they're not an Earth sign, this is somebody who is very grounded. They are perhaps not really, uh, not really quick. <laughs> You know, uh, it could be somebody who works for a financial institution. And their current status is that they feel miserable. They feel left out in the cold. They feel uh, very emotional, right? Um, so, yeah, the King of Pentacles is clarifying the Five of Pentacles with the Four of Cups. For some of you, it could be your ex, by the way, right? For others of you, if this is not somebody you were in a relationship with, you could have rejected this person in the past. Or perhaps this person has a fear of rejection if they make their move towards you, right? Because uh, the Five of Pentacles is a card of somebody feeling left out in the cold, somebody feeling miserable. The Four of Cups clarifying that is a card of a rejection. And uh, that's, the key, that's the way this King of Pentacles is feeling right now for uh, one of the reasons I just listed. We also have the Moon on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. The Moon is the personal Pisces card. You can be dealing with the Pisces. Or the moon, since it's one of the most emotional cards in the deck, it, it pretty much confirms what I was just saying about how this person feels about you. They have fears of rejections, or they have fear that you're not going to take them back if this is your ex. They're just going through it, you know, they're calling at the moon, they're crying. Um, but uh, I think they're going to shoot their shot anyway. No matter what the situation was, even if this is your ex, even if this is somebody you rejected, or if this is somebody who fears of uh, being rejected, they're going to come towards you either way, right? We have the Page of Cups right there in the middle, clarified by the Two of Cups. Um, the Page of Cups, this is them either apologizing to you, right? Perhaps this is your ex and they're going to be sorry for what they did to you or, they, or what they didn't do to you. Um, the Page of Cups could also be the correct way to come towards you. If uh, they came towards you in a cocky and an arrogant way and you turned them down, they will apologize for that and this time they'll make sure they do it the right way. Or if this is somebody who's um, you know, kind of shy or they're afraid of rejection, they're going to come towards you either way with that Page of Cups. Uh, the Page of Cups is the nicest page I guess, <laughs> out of all four pages, if you ask me. This is them buying you flowers, this is them asking you out, this is them uh, taking you out to dinner, buying you a cup of coffee, whatever. Right, and uh, the Two of Cups, clarifying the Page of Cups, is uh, a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of unconditional love, it's a card of um, actually both people feeling the same way about each other, right? So you do have some feelings towards them. Um, then we have the Queen of Wands clarified by the Sun. And uh, the Queen of Wands, that would be you, Aries, male or female. Absolutely doesn't matter. And you're clarified by the Sun, that happiest card in the deck. So this person knows. They're crystal clear about the fact that you're glowing up. You're the, you're the Sun, right? The Sun is the brightest object in the sky during the day. They know that if uh, they lost you, they'll have to uh, work really hard to get you back because you're happy on your own. Perhaps you're very popular. Perhaps uh, you're admired by many, you know. Because, uh, like I said, the sun uh, is an amazing card to have. And that's the card clarifying you. That's how you feel right now. Or that's, the w that's their perception of you, right? So, um, yeah, whatever the situation, um, this person feels miserable right now. Uh, they miss you or they really want you. They actually love you with the uh, Two of Cups right there and they're going to make their move towards you no matter the situation. Alright, so we're moving on to spread number two. Um, we're going to see the potential uh, between you and this person either way. Alright? Cool. Alright, Aries. So, um, I'm going to make an exception for you. Uh, we'll have three spreads. I usually do two spreads, but we'll have three spreads because um, 
and nothing is gonna happen between you and the person we just saw revealed in the previous spread. This is a no-go and uh, in the third spread we'll look at the uh, <laughs> new person coming towards you. Alright, so yeah, um, we have the Four of Cups, we have the Two of Swords, we have the Emperor and we also have the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. The Emperor, that would be you, right? Right next to the deck. Um, the Four of Cups is a card of a rejection. Uh, it's a repeat card, the Two of Swords in the middle. In this particular spread, I believe this is you remaining closed off. This is you saying no to this person. And the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of a broken heart, and uh, you can apply it as, uh, as it actually applicable to your situation. If this is your ex, then it makes total sense. Perhaps they broke your heart in the past, and you're like, no, 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 no. I don't want to get into that ever again. Or the Three of Swords, it could be that person's broken heart because you're going to tell them no. But... Um, you know, no means no. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're moving on to spread number three. Spread number three, uh, we'll look at the new person, new love coming towards you in the near future. All right, Aries, so here's the bonus spread, I guess. This is a new person coming into your life in the near future. Uh, we have the Knight of Cups, clarified by the King of Swords. We have the Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the Star. We have the Ten of Pentacles, and uh, we also have the Lovers on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Well, look at that, Aries. This is a completely different energy than what we saw in the previous two spreads. All right, so you do have this King of Swords coming into your life. It could be an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. An interesting fact is that we also have uh, two separate cards, uh, the Star and the Lovers, and the Star is the personal Aquarius card, the Lovers is the personal Gemini card. So <laughs> it could be one of those two um, air signs, I guess. Um, or it could be a water sign with some uh, air in their chart, because uh, the King of Swords is clarifying the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But if we want to stay general, then this is what this King of Swords brings into your life. Lots and lots of love. The Knight of Cups always talks about genuine, authentic love. The Knight of Cups is often called the Knight in the Shining Armor. And perhaps this is somebody you've always wanted in your life. Or perhaps you always waited for this type of love or this particular person. I don't know. You can leave me a comment let me know. Because uh, we have the Seven of Pentacles right there in the middle. And it's clarified by that star. Right? The Seven of Pentacles is a card of waiting. Right? And I think that's your energy right there. You've been waiting for this particular person and that's why you're kicking that other person out of your life. You're not dealing with them. Or perhaps this person is, like I said, a wish come true because that's what the star is also about. The star is a, a card of a wish come true. Yeah, so if you've waited for this person or um, you know someone who will you know, love you till the day they um, depart, <laughs> you know, that would be it right there. The Ten of Pentacles right next to the deck, this is a card of a committed relationship or marriage. You know, very solid, very grounded, very long-term type of a deal with that Ten of Pentacles. Very stable, financially abundant. This is when people grow old together, buy real estate together, you know, have it all together. The Lovers on the bottom of the deck is um, the personal Gemini card. You could be dealing with a Gemini. The Lovers could also be a choice you're making. So perhaps you're going to be making a choice between this person and that other person. But it doesn't have to be that type of choice. You could be choosing to be with this particular person. right? The Lovers is also a card of a soulmate connection. It's also a card of a twin flame connection if you believe in twin flames. And the Lovers could simply be the lover of your life. So this is an amazing, beautiful spread. I love it. I love the fact that we got the King of Swords, right? So we got the Swords in here, we got the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Cups is all about love. We got the Wish Come True, we got the Soulmate Twin Flame card, and we have a Commitment Marriage card, which is solid type of marriage or commitment. <laughs> so perhaps, um, yeah, so really happy for you. <laughs> Aries, congratulations. And uh, that's what I got for you. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Aries, have an amazing February. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you. And if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.